Hello, and welcome to the July edition of Nordic Stories from the National Nordic Museum in Seattle, Washington. This month, we'll be reading a story that is a traditional tale from Norway, and you may have heard of it. It is the Three Billy Goats Gruff. And here we have a goat with us today. And in the story, there are how many billy goats? Can you show me with your fingers? Three billy goats. And then there is also someone over here. Oh no, do you see who it is? It's the troll. And there's a very evil troll that lives under a bridge. Oh, look at this troll, look at his toes. And so we'll read the story. And then after the story today, we will make a bridge. So that will be our craft challenge is to make and design a bridge. And if you have something at home that's like a little toy, it could be if you had something like a plastic goat, or if you have something like some little horses or any kind of toy that you could go trip, trap, trip, trap across your bridge, we'll talk about the different types of bridges and how you might build a suspension bridge. And I'll show you pictures of some great bridges that kids have made in the past when we've read this story and done the craft challenge. So first let's start with the story. It is the book, The Three Billy Goats Gruff, and there's many, many different versions of the story. This one is uh, illustrated and written by Paul Galdone, and it's a classic, but you can find so many different versions. So go to your library, uh, look in your library at home. You may be able to find the three Billy Goats Gruff. The three Billy Goats Gruff. And if you know the story, you can help me as we tell it together. Once upon a time, there were three billy goats. Show me three. They lived in a valley and the name of all the three billy goats was Gruff. There was very little grass in the valley and the billy goats were hungry. They wanted to go up the hillside to the fine meadow full of grass and daisies where they could eat and eat and eat and get fat and fat. But on the way up there was a bridge over a rushing river. Can you make a river with your hands? And under the bridge lived a troll, a troll who was as mean as he was ugly. Ugh. First, the youngest billy goat decided to cross the bridge. And now we can make the sound of trip trap. And so the little billy goat had small hooves and it went like this, trip trap. Trip trap, trip trap. Can you do that? Trip trap, trip trap over the bridge. Now make your troll voice. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? Asked the troll. Oh, it is only I, the tiniest billy goat, said the billy goat in his very small voice. And I am going to the meadow to make myself fat. Mm. Oh, no, you're not, said the troll. Well, I'm going to gobble you up. Oh, please, please don't take me, for I am too little that I am, said the little billy goat. Wait until the second billy goat gruff comes. He is much bigger. Mm. Well, be off with you. And off went the smallest billy goat. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. A little later, the second billy goat, Gruff, came across the bridge. And so now make a medium sized voice. Can you do medium hooves? Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, 
trip trap over the bridge. Uh, who's that trip trapping over my bridge? Roared the troll. Oh, it's only I, the second billy goat. Gruff, and I am going up to the meadow to make myself fat, said the billy goat. But his voice was not so small. Oh, no, you're not, said the troll, for I'm coming to gobble you up. Oh, please, don't take me. Wait a little until the third billy goat gruff, can you show me three, comes along. He is much bigger. Very well then, off with you. And off went the medium sized billy goat. Can you make the sound? Trip chop, trip chop, trip chop, trip chop. Then up came the third billy goat. Whoa. And these time the hooves made very loud sounds. Okay, ready? Can you make the loud sound? And you might even use your knees. So put your hands down on your knees like this to make the loud sound of the hooves. Ready? Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap over the bridge. The third billy goat gruff was so heavy that the bridge creaked and groaned under him. Who's that tramping over my bridge? yelled the troll. That was very scary. It is I, the big billy goat gruff, said the third billy goat, and his voice was as loud as the trolls. Whoa. Now I'm coming to gobble you up, said the troll. Well, come along, said the third billy goat. Gruff, I've got two horns and four hard hooves. Let's see what you can do. So up climbed the mean, ugly troll. And the big billy goat gruff. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. Butted the troll. Oh. <laughs> Off of the bridge with his horns and he trampled him with his hooves. Ouch, 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 ouch. And over the bridge he went into the rushing river. Splash. Blub, 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 blub. And then the big billy goat gruff went up the hillside to meet his brothers. Troop, trap, troop, trap. Trip trap, trip trap. And in the meadow, the three billy goats gruff got so fat that they could hardly walk home again. They are probably still there yet. So snip, snap, snout. This tale is told out. And that is the end of the three Billy Goats Gruff. Yay, let's give a clap for the book. Very good, that was fun. Now I'm going to share my screen so that you can see some pictures. So look up on the screen. I'm going to make it big so you can see. This is, let's see, pictures of bridges. So here we go. Let's look at some real world bridges, the kind of design. And do you see the three goats and the troll? So bridges come in three different styles or four main styles of bridge. There's a beam bridge, a cantilever bridge, an arch bridge, and a suspension bridge. So let's look at some of the different styles here. So you can see the design challenge when you build a bridge is how the weight pushes down in the middle and you usually have two columns. So your design today is to build a bridge that can hold your toys that might go trip trapping over. And again, you might have some plastic animals like goats or horses 
but anything that's heavy that could go over your bridge. So something that can make a bridge strong can be used like trusses and they can go on top or on bottom. Now, this is something that you could make at home that would be out of popsicle sticks or straws, anything that's like a small stick. Beam bridges go across something and it's usually one big piece and sometimes that could be cardboard. So if you have cardboard around the house, you can gather those up. And cantilever bridges have actual pieces of beams that stick out. Now, if you look at this, this looks like Legos. So if you have something like Legos at home, you can make a cantilever bridge by building out support structures that are made out of Legos. And here's what a real cantilever bridge looks like. You've got short beams that are in the middle and longer beams that are supported. And in stories, you often see an arch bridge. Now these are made out of stone and the stones are placed in a way that support the weight of the bridge and also create an arch. So you might try to make some kind of arch bridge for your toys to go across. But the last type of bridge I wanna show you are suspension bridges. And these are ones that you might actually walk across that could be made out of ropes and boards. There's also things that have uh, cables and support structures. And one of those bridges that are very famous is the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, or you might have even seen the Tacoma Narrows Bridge. So those are some styles of bridges. Now what I wanna show you are some fun things that kids have made in our different programs on Billy Goat Gruff. So when we've read the story before, you can see how kids have done this. Look at this, using Legos and straws. I see a combination of different designs and look, then they tested their design. Look at this one. Wow, this is a very tall bridge. And in this case, it's supporting the three billy goat horses, I guess they are billy goat, billy horse gruffs across the top of the bridge. This is a 100% cardboard bridge made with these really interesting triangle supports and rubber bands and straws. Here's one that has masking tape and you can see the design might be a little shaky and that's the challenge in engineering. Now this is the cantilever one with Legos that you can see the support structure is made also out of straws. So kids have gotten really creative with their bridges and this one has a, a midpoint support on the bridge made out of Legos. And this one is a suspension bridge that's almost like a floating bridge. If you've ever gone over a floating bridge, like here between the east side and Seattle, that's an interesting bridge style as well. So these are some ideas that I wanted to show you. And so what you're gonna do is gather up things like toilet paper tubes, uh, anything that stick like popsicle sticks, if it's summertime like now and you've been having popsicles, uh, cardboard, and then you get to think of the whole process. It's called the engineering design process. And you are going to engineer a bridge. And engineering is about building. And there's kind of different steps to the process. So first you ask what you're trying to do, build a bridge. You can imagine what type of bridge you want. You've seen all those different styles of bridges now and you can think, okay, I could have a, some columns, I could have an arch. I could have some kind of uh, cables, which could be yarn, maybe rubber bands might be helpful. And then when you plan your bridge, you might even take a piece of paper and a pencil and you'll write out how you think you'd like to build it. So do a little design on paper. And then comes the fun part, you create your bridge. So create and build your bridge and then test it. How do you know it's going to be solid? Is your engineering successful? You need your test objects. So get out those toys that are kind of heavy and might walk across your bridge. See what you have around the house. 
It could also be like dolls or something, maybe that can walk across Lego mini figures. I don't know. And then improve your design because maybe your bridge fell down. That happens sometimes, right? The engineering process isn't just one direction. It's actually a cycle or a circle. So you might need to come back and improve your design. And then you can present it, show it to your family, share it with your friends, play with your bridge, and you can act out the story of the three billy goats gruff using your bridge. But maybe it will be with your characters. So it might be based on your dolls, your uh, little plastic toy that you used, a mini figure, and you can tell the story. There might be a small, medium, and large size one. And then who's going to be under the bridge? You have to think of a character that's going to be like a troll in your story. So this is a fun activity that you can do to celebrate the traditional story from Norway and make it a modern engineering design. All right, everybody, have a great month of July. We'll see you in August for another Nordic Stories Online. Thank you.